Hey guys, it's just one day before the weekend. It's a beautiful morning and I'm here at Queenstown Sky Terrace. It goes and there's a building right behind me. You see, we've been getting a lot of questions recently on our Instagram. Should I be going for Sky Terrace at Dawson or should I be going for Skyville? But what I want to do today is to give you a little bit of a tour of the place so that you can decide on which development you might like most. Here we go. Now what's really interesting is that it's super early in the morning and then you already see so many people here cycling, running, walking their dogs. This is the park connector and what's really cool is that it's just right downstairs the estate and it's about 10 minutes cycling to Great World City which is super convenient and it's about 20 minutes from here to Marina Bay so really well connected. Inside MRT is about 9-10 minutes walk from here. It's not the shortest, it's not sheltered as well. And if you're in a rush, you know, if you wake up late, it's gonna get sweaty. One other thing that's pretty cool about this place is you get some amenities downstairs. So firstly, you get your ocean wash, which is essentially your laundromat of sorts. It's 24 hours, there are a couple of machines. Pacific Activity Centre. It's really nice because it's a multi-generational development. So you don't want the elderly to be stuck at home all the time. You want them to have the community as well, it gets lonely. So it's, uh, it's really lovely that they've included that here. So this is my favourite uh, spot. It's called the Tea Philosophy Cafe. It's right downstairs. Um, you get your healthy food, you get your local food. Talking about your nasi goreng, that's about $8. Mee siam, $8 as well. It's a little bit pricey, but you do get a variety and uh, it's great for emergency dates. <laughs> for those of you familiar with the place, this was engineered by the Housing Development Board, HDB, with SCDA Architects, an architecture firm that has its hands in many key private developments. So we're talking like 90 Nassim Hill, Art Museum, I think Amber Park as well. Now we're just going to head over to the other end. There are some amenities over there, so we're going to check it out very quickly. So we just got to the other end, uh, it was quite a walk to be honest. This is essentially the amphitheater. Very nice implementation that gives some diversity. But what I also see is uh, quite significant signs of wear and tear. Granted, it is an outdoor space and it is wood after all, but considering that it's only been five years, it's a little bit frustrating I think that you see all these beautiful spaces already turning with like algae and a little bit of moss. It's not a condo, so you know you don't get that intense maintenance. That this could have been sheltered, just so that you wouldn't get the acceleration of decay over here. There isn't actually an electrical socket, but if you're gonna bring like heavy electrical equipment that requires um, power outlets, you're probably gonna have to bring your own big batteries. So moving on, you eventually get to the playground space. It doesn't look like the most appealing of playgrounds. It's not super colorful, which you would perhaps expect. It's congruent. Uh, to the design that SCDA has come up with. Grey, dystopian-like. Just a tiny nitpick, but uh, overall, pretty good congruency. So I've been here a couple of times now, and uh, even now as I make my way upstairs uh, to the common space, which is just above the multi-story car park, I can't help but you know, really notice and enjoy all the little walkways, all the little staircases, and on top of that, all the greenery that comes with it. It feels really nice. Just above the multi-story car park now, this common space area, which essentially strings all the five towers uh, together. So it's very nice that they're maintaining the place. It's not your condo after all, so you don't get tip-top maintenance, but you do pay fees to town council here. So we just arrived at this wooden boardwalk common space of sorts. To be honest, it really doesn't look well maintained at all. You do have your nice loofs here, but man, I mean, looking at the state of this place, it just it's just not very sightly in my opinion. So you can see, like quite a bit of junk. I don't know, hopefully this gets tidy up soon. So I'm gonna bring you up right now. We're gonna have a look at the views at some of the sky terraces. Uh, it's actually split across two different floors. I believe one on the 19th and one on the 34th. So we're gonna head up right now. It is a HTB after all. You get your simple corridors, simple lifts. Notice the views here, really lovely. We're only on the 19th floor. Somewhere over there is Dawson Place, which is the closest shopping mall here. 
Somewhere there, you can see the CBD area. This is a school, so and, you know, it's not gonna be torn down anytime soon, hopefully. You're not gonna get blocked views for the units on this end. Chinese chess tables. You get them not downstairs, but on the 19th floor and the 34th floor. Let's, uh, let's go have a look at how the corridor is actually laid out. Each story, you actually have three different units. Relatively secluded in that sense. You get three lift lobbies as well, which is wonderful. As opposed to Skyville, you get up to eight per floor. 46 stories at Skyville. It's a little bit cramped with only four lift lobbies. One thing that I really want to point out is this. A helpline of sorts. So it's a court in every HDB home. For the elderly folks who are home alone, if something happens, touch wood, of course, they can pull the court and a kind Samaritan walking by, they will be alerted immediately. We're gonna head to the highest terrace <laughs> on the 34th floor. This is amazing. Super windy, and that just shows that all the units above a certain level here do get quite good ventilation, quite good draft. Over here we have Sky Park at Dawson and just beyond that you get the Dempsey Hill area. Now if you look a little bit further, you do get the central catchment area which is provide a very nice view for residents staying in the units over here. So the biggest question on everyone's mind, how much are units here going for? Three bidders go of upwards, I think 600 over 1,000, 649. Four bidders are about 800. The five bidders are transacting currently at just over a million dollars. There are still a couple of resale units here, I believe. This just hit MOP. You can actually check out the review I did recently of uh, Sky Terrace at Dawson, stackthomes.com slash tutorial. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am starving. So I'm gonna go grab some lunch and uh, I'll bring you along for the ride, just so you know how long it actually takes uh, to get to the Hawker Center and the amenities there as well. So we finally arrived, I can smell the food. <laughs> it was about, I think, a four minute walk. About three to four minutes. It's lunch time and you can already see a lot of people queuing. You get your mixed rice. You get your Indian food, you get your chicken rice as well, and tuta. Always good for family occasions, family gatherings. So there's a sing song here. Uh, just inside actually you have an ATM which caters to DBS users, UOB users. Uh, so that is very convenient. You also get roti corner, haircuts, medical clinic as well. Oh, that has uh, essentially been my review of Sky Terrace at Dawson, a little tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, a comment below, hopefully subscribe as well. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.